Welcome back. Today's quick tip is about single pedal driving. To understand how that system will work, we need to understand the recuperation levels, which is displayed right there and will be displayed right here in the middle. When you put the car into drive, notice I don't have creep on, so the car didn't move. It starts off in normal recuperation. When I pull the left, the right paddle, it goes to no recuperation, which literally just means coasting. If I hit it again, it goes to intelligent recuperation, which is terrain-based or road condition-based. Typically, I find it doesn't provide me the slowing down I want with the other recuperation, so I don't use intelligent recuperation much. If I hit the tab on the left, it goes back to normal. It skipped right over no recuperation. Normal recuperation provides slow, gradual stopping, but takes quite a long time to actually stop the vehicle. And when it's slowing down, the brake light does not come on. If I hit this one more time, it goes to strong recuperation. Strong recuperation is like you are gently hitting the brakes. The brake lights in back do come on and the car slows very well. And I'll show you that here in a minute in the demo. But you'll notice right here where the D is, minus tells me I'm in strong recuperation. D with nothing means I'm in normal recuperation. D with a plus means I'm in no recuperation. And D with an auto means I'm intelligent recuperation. Why is that important? Well, because if I change the menu I'm using to one that doesn't show the level of recuperation here on an ongoing basis, I can look at that and know that I'm in D auto. So when I go back to normal recuperation, even though it shows there for a moment, that will go away, but that will stay with the D. And when I go to strong recuperation, that will stay with the minus. So that's why knowing what those symbols are is really helpful as you're driving. Now let me give you a quick demo of the normal and strong recuperation in an actual driving situation. All right, single pedal driving. When you first start the car, it is in normal recuperation. You put it in drive. And as you start to drive, and then take your foot off the accelerator, car gradually slows down. If you're going faster, it slows down some, but not dramatically. The key for single pedal driving is as you're driving at speed, you take your foot off the accelerator, and no more recuperation will start slowing you down, and then you go to strong recuperation and then you back off to normal and as you slowly glide to a stop and then you hit the strong to kind of finish it off. It's a bit of a game between strong and normal. For me it's fun, but between the two, strong and normal, I can come to a full complete stop casually without ever touching my foot on the brake and while it's not a simple, you just go and then you stop, it's, it's fun and it works smoothly. So that's it. That was a quick demonstration of how to use the recuperation to do single pedal driving. I have never been in a car that had it before. It took me some tinkering with, and the way I do it may not be the way others do it. But it works for me, and I think I've saved my brakes quite a bit by simply using recuperation. And the alternate from strong to normal is really what does the trick for me. I found there are places when I'm driving and I know it's a downhill slope. I'll go into no recuperation, let the car coast. And then when I need to, I go back to normal and then back to strong. And when I come to stoplights, I'll alternate between the two and come to a gradual stop. And when I'm stopping with recuperation, in normal recuperation, the brake lights don't come on. But I go to strong recuperation, the brake lights do come on. That's something to keep in mind for the cars behind you as you're moving. That's it. Have a great day.